Hi everyone, so here is my 2024 plans. So I've been threatening to do this video for a couple of weeks, I've just not got around to doing it. So today is the day. So my main aim for 2024 is to finish, attempt to, uh, finish my 100, en 100 envelope challenge. So I have started it and I've given it a good bash. I've got over a thousand pound in there. Um, so we're on our way. But yeah, my main aim is to finish my 100 envelope challenge next year if I can. So this year I did my 52 week challenge and I snowballed it a lot. So to be honest, I sort of filled it in, I put quite a bit in at the start of the year and then dwindled off a lot towards the middle. And then at the end I was like, no, I want to get this done. So I sort of snowballed it a lot. So with a lot of the challenges I finished, like spin saver and stuff like that, I put, oh, sorry, I put that all into my challenge. So I'm going to do the same next year. So any challenge that I finish, I'm going to then restuff into my 100 envelope to try and bulk it up and get it done. Along with adding to this, as and when I do my cash stuffing as well. So I'll try and sort of double end it if I can. So main aim, 100 envelope challenge. Then I'm going to run a few other things alongside just because I find I like a few things going. So that's my main one. I want to finish my five pound challenge. So I started that this year. I've got quite a way to go. Um, I did a poll on my Instagram when I was opening my other money tins this year saying should I carry it on or should I open it and everyone said carry it on and finish it so I'm hoping to have this finished I don't know six months in let's hope I think that might be aiming high but we can try so again I'll probably stuff this and maybe put the 400 pound into my 100 envelope because that'll be a good bulk won't it so I've got that money tin I'm going to also do I don't know if put it oh here another coin challenge so last year I did a two of these coin challenges in one tin so i saved 200 pound in coins so i plan to do the same thing again how cute is this tin i think this one's from home bargains um so yeah i'm going to run my coin challenge alongside my fiver and stuff again i'll probably restuff this into my 100 envelope once i've banked it uh because natwest bank do a great thing don't they they have the coin machines so i'll probably do that with that i also got i've got so many tins Last year I did my 52 week challenge in a big, um, this is dusty already, it really annoys me that, in my cube this year I thought oh I'll order a cylinder one, not realising how ridiculously huge I'd ordered it, so I put mystery madness on it because I'm not going to count what money's in here, again I'm just going to put some challenges in it, so if I did like, last year I used my big tin for things like jackpot saver and those sort of games like the roller dice sort of games, so I'll probably do the same this year and add it into this. And then again at the end of the year, if I've not finished my 100 envelope, which I doubt I will have, I'll smash this and stuff it into my 100 envelope to sort of get that finished. Just so it's not all going into there consistently, I'm sort of breaking it up a little bit, keeping it a bit more exciting for myself. But yeah, I stuck some vinyl on it. Mystery madness. So that's going to go, it's just in my corner there because it's absolutely huge. I thought I'd ordered one, like a standard tin size, like this size, and then that arrived. So yeah. Make sure you check my measurements because <laughs> I'm not very good at that, clearly. Then I've got another money tin on the go. Again, it's full of dust. Um, this one is another huge one. So again, I did one of these last year. However, um, I'm going to use this just for anything under 50p. So there's no way I'm going to fill that, is there? But um, so I've put a penny saved as a penny not spent. I really wanted a pun on here, but I can't think of one. So we went with that. <laughs> But yeah, my plan is to just leave this on the floor and just anything. I've already got some stuff in here. I'll, st I'll start this in next year though. I'll keep this money tin going. Well, if I can pick it out. So anything under 50p is just going to go directly into there. So I've got that one on the go. Again, when I open this, I'll just put it into the um, coin counter at the bank. Because why not? Who's got time to count copper, right? I didn't like the penny saving challenge, so that is my next option. So just throw it in there and ignore it. So they are my tins and main aims. I don't know if you've noticed my jar. So this at the minute is my Christmas jar. So all this money in here is for my Christmas fun. So Christmas is fast approaching. And there's a fair bit of money in there, to be fair, isn't there? It's not too bad. But I go up to Scotland for Christmas. My family live up there, my sister and my mum and dad live up in Scotland, so I'll be going there. So I'll take that with us because I know we've got some things planned. We'll be going definitely to the pub 
um that was my request <laughs> i know we're doing things but i think we're going to bowling and stuff like that so that's money's going to come with me to scotland and probably get spent very easily um so i need to think of something to use this jar for next year i'm not really sure what but people keep asking me where this jar is from as well i got, I got it from being i think it was five pound in like the gift section where they have like the horoscope stuff it was there and they have different ones so i need to think of a plan for that one i might just sort of have it like a rolling something i'm going to spend fairly quickly i don't know and then i've got my binders so i'm going to keep my binders the same as i did last year just because i found they really work well for me i only have three anyway i don't have like an excessive amount um but i've got my this one is my short term so these are things i try and stuff every week if i can so it's things i've got in here days out um there's still some money in these from this year so this is stuff like if i go oh, i don't know I choose to go out with my mates for the day. Like, I go to Southport every year with my friends, so I'll use that money for that, that sort of stuff. So we've got days out, travel. I don't know if you follow me on my other channels, but I love a holiday. So I managed to do four holidays this year. Um, I don't have any children, so I only have myself to look after, which I do find difficult most days. But, you know, I love a holiday. Um, I don't really go on expensive holidays. I've been to Turkey this year, but we only did, like, five days. I've just come back from Poland again for another five days, um, where I spent, like, £350. So it's not a massive holiday i know a lot of people spend like over a thousand pound two two thousand pound on a holiday um a big holiday a year i'd rather go on lots of little ones and just sort of travel that way so i've got my travel fight folder i've got birthdays which of course in and out constantly occasions i'm going to use this for things like mother's day father's day um weddings all that sort of stuff um so i don't really have into that as much as i do my birthdays but i've not got any weddings coming up this year as far as i know but if i do i'll start adding to that a little bit more i've got my nails um it's nail day tomorrow i'm very excited uh nails i i didn't i have 10 pound in that every week because my nails are 30 pound every three weeks so nails always get stuffed and then obviously my hair um which i got my hair done a couple of weeks ago so it'll be a couple of months before i go back for that because I've got a lot of hair and it's a lot of effort. So that is my short term. I have, this is more my games um, wallet binder. So I've got Spin Saver. It's a cracker, I've completed that and added that to my Christmas fund. I'm going to restart Christmas um, pretty soon. To be honest, I might actually keep this as my Christmas tin, you know, and just do all these next year and keep adding to it and then add that into my Christmas. We'll see. So we've got Christmas, my subscription, if I if I like that one. So I've got my, I don't know if you can see it, Grinch one. That's this month's subscription, December's. Feeling extra Grinchy. Um, so normally my subscription would go in there, but this time it's going in my Christmas fund because it's obviously for that. I've got sweet, sweet savings from Abby. Um, Stop fucking spending from Charles. She knows me so well. She actually made this tracker for me and then lots of people wanted it, so she listed it on a shop. And I think it sells quite well because clearly it's not just me that likes to spend money. Yeah. Um, so that one from Charles. I spy from Plan Budget Repeat and Rock, Paper, Scissors from Studio Budget Co. I've not actually started this one yet. This is another one to start next year, which I'm excited about because I saw everyone playing it and I got jealous. And then my last binder is probably my favorite one this is my long-term savings so christmas is empty uh there is actually some christmas money still in my pot on my web on my website on my bank um uh, i'll probably just leave that in there for next year i think it's only about 30 quid to be honest but um, in this binder i've got all of my beautiful wallets these were made by the fabulous sarah at dilly dally budgets um, and this is why I love this folder so much. So we've got Christmas. So January, I'm going to start saving that again. That's going to get... I'm trying to fill that pretty quick, to be honest. I don't spend that much at Christmas. We're not having children. My um, aim is normally about £500. I had £500 this year and I've got money left over. So I feel like that's a pretty decent uh, aim, to be honest. So we've got Christmas. Cappadocia. I am going to Cappadocia this year. Uh, next year, sorry. I'm determined to get there before the end of the year because it's been dragging on. Um, I was supposed to go when I was 30 and really upsetting. I'm 35 at the start of next year. So five years later, I might actually get there. <laughs> my savings going really well for this. So for Cappadocia, my target 
if I can find it, is a thousand pound, and I'm currently on five hundred and sixty. So we're well on our way. I'm hoping to have six hundred in there before Christmas if I can. Um, I stuff this digitally and physically, so I put money into my my, my roundup money goes into my Cappadocia fund. So that builds up really quickly because I'm a definitely a card spender. I'm just a spender to be honest, but yeah. So Cappadocia is well on the way. Bucket list. Um, again, I said I like to travel, so this is for like the, the holidays that are going to cost a little bit more. I've got nothing planned other than Cappadocia at the minute, um, so I'm just going to add to that as and when I can. Turkey, as I said, I want to. I've said in the past I want to emigrate and move to Turkey, so this is getting funded quite a lot. So my things like my hundred envelope and my fifty two week challenge all go into my Turkey fund. My Turkey fund is looking very healthy at the minute. I'm going to keep it that way. I'm going to keep adding to that one. I've got health insurance this is for when I move because I need private health care and obviously want private health care. I want to be looked after and not be left uh, sort of in any situation. Emergency fund. Now I'm going to do emergency fund. I'm actually very proud of this. I am new to have an emergency fund. This is not me at all. I am the girl that never had money in a bank. Um, so in my emergency fund, I have a thousand pound. A thousand and ten is ten pound in here. So all my especially my um, long-term savings, I have a pot in my styling account. So I don't know if Monzo does the same sort of thing. You can have a pot in your account where you can save money. So I have an emergency fund, I have health insurance, I have a turkey fund, I have a bucket list, I have Cappadocia and I have Christmas. So when I've got a certain amount in there, I bank it and then add it to my pot so I can see my savings growing in there as well. Um, just so I've not got a load of cash in the house. Um, with being self-employed, I do have a safe, so all my money does go in my safe every day. Uh, but, you know, still would rather it be in the bank and be safe. So that is basically my plan for next year to sort of carry on with my um, binders, get this done and a few of my other tins to go along with it and also play some of my new games. I don't know if you've been looking at my, if you've seen any of my advent stuff, but Here for the Cash Hunt is one of the games that I am so excited to play uh, and just see how much we can save. It's just going to be really fun. All my new stuff from my advent calendar, I have, I have popped a Q&A video up on YouTube about it. But all of my advent items will be going live on my website on the unboxing day. I couldn't think what day that was then. Unboxing day. So probably, I don't know, in the morning sometime. Whenever I wake up, <laughs> I'll put them live on the website. But I will share all that sort of information over on my other social media. So mainly my Instagram. But I'll probably put it on TikTok as well because I have quite a big following over there. But yeah, I think that's all from me. I've probably got through everything, I think. Unless there's something that I've forgotten. I don't know. But thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully that wasn't too boring. But I would really like to know what your aims are for next year. What is your big thing? Have you got one challenge that you're going to try and finish? Or have you got something you're really saving up for? Or are you going to do lots of little different things? Are you doing things differently? Are you staying the same? What works for you and what doesn't? I know personally for me, money tins, things I can't get into work for me. Because I'm a bugger for dipping. But yeah. Let me know what your plans are for 2024. And I shall see you all probably in the new year now. Which is really exciting, isn't it? So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.